welcome back. My name is Orid and you're watching Orid's Kitchen. I wanted to say thank you so much for everybody um, for who have subscribed. I have reached to 1,000 subscribers, so thank you so much. Um, you know, that was one of my goals <laughs> to get there. So it took me a little over a year, but I'm happy to continue and to keep showing you all the yummy things that I make at home. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to make homemade jam okay something my mom makes and i was like i love it i like to put it with some cream cheese maybe make kid friendly as well as homemade um so you can make it just with strawberries just with blueberries but what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be mixing strawberries and blueberries together now remember guys i'm not a professional chef i'm just a mom so i just wanted to share my recipes with you guys so again if there are any confusion don't understand anything i'm just a message away on youtube you can find me on instagram and on facebook okay so let's get started so come on down here as you can see i got some fresh strawberries i now you can chop them up smaller or you know you can leave some big some a little small okay and i got so this is about one package of strawberries and this is one package of the small ones of blueberries okay so we're going to turn it on here on like about medium heat and we're going to sprinkle some sugar okay not so much but just a bit and you're going to put it on high okay and um you're going to close the lid and you're going to wait and you're going to make it a mix too we're going to wait until it releases some water so these fruits will release some water and mix with the sugar of course okay and once it releases it, then we will lower the temperature. This will take, honestly, just getting this ready is very simple. It's gonna take about 10 minutes total, okay? So I'll be back, you guys. Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been about five minutes, I would say. So you see, it's released the juice. Oh my God, guys, it really smells really, really good here. And you know, just keep your eye on it if you feel comfortable, you know, lower the temperature if you need to step out you know, your kids are bothering you or something like that, you need to leave. Um, just that way that it does, the bottom part doesn't burn, okay? But you see it's releasing the juices um, and the sugar, got a nice flavor to it. Now you can always, you know, cool it down, taste some, taste one of them and see if it has enough sugar um, or you don't have to put sugar if you don't want, but it is a jam, preserved jam. So usually they do have some sugar in there. Um, so I'll be back in about five more minutes to show you the outcome. Okay. See ya. Hey guys, welcome back. So I had my my top uh, pot all ready to go. So I just let it cool down a little bit. And then you can put it in a mason jar. Um, I've got this little cute one prepared. I'm going to just take it to my parents' house. Um, but you know, you guys can put it in a bigger mason jar or just in a jar in general. Um, it does last for quite some time in the fridge um and you know it's delicious again you can eat it with peanut butter cream cheese whatever and it's homemade so you don't you know what's in it okay and you can limit how much sugar and things like that you want to put now this is with blueberry strawberries you can again just use all strawberries all blueberries whatever is your favorite okay so thank you so much for watching Ori's kitchen you just learned how to make homemade jam um thank you again and i'll see you guys next time see you